Hello people, this is Eitan. Today I'm going to make a pro and cons review on this uh, Boker Gentleman Urban Trapper uh, designed by a guy uh, named uh, Brad Zinker. It is uh, supposed to be a small, thin, lightweight gentleman knife. Let's go into the specs. So the way around this one, this is a 3.5 version. It has a mini version, it has a longer version. The 3.5 uh, version um, weighs around the 40 grams, which is 1.3 ounces. The blade is VG10, drop point, hollow grind. I almost cut myself. The body, the handles, uh, the scales uh, are made of cocobolo wood. And the liners are made from titanium. It's a frame lock or a liner lock uh, flipper uh, with a deep carry pocket uh, clip. Uh, action is very good, uh, so, as you see. Let's make a, a bit of a size comparison. So let's see it near the uh, Andorra. So you see what I'm talking about is slim. Look, it is a long knife, but it's very, very slim. Oh, sorry, I'm off the camera. Sorry, sorry. It is a long knife, but if you compare it to the Andorra, look, you can put two of those in the Andorra. Uh, let's compare it to the PM2 and I'll put the door here, this one here, and the PM2 here. Uh, you see also uh, its blade length, you even have more cutting or similar as the PM2, but uh, it's very, very skinny. Now let's see it near bigger knives like the this uh, <laughs> Strider. No, I know this is funny. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think you can take materials from the handle and make another one of those only from the handle of the Strider. Look at it. Big. And see it near the Contigo, which is a knife I like and I carry a lot. Uh, the Benchmade Contigo is. Uh, oh, it looks like petite near to it. Let's just close it. I think it will go into the blade. <laughs> Funny, I know. And the uh, final and last comparison. Uh, let's see it near the mass drop uh, Terrazola. Uh, they call it CTS something compact tactical folder. It looks like really a beefier version of that one. So. Uh, just one more thing before I go to the advantage and disadvantage. This knife is used, I received it a couple of days ago to uh, fix it, you know, to improve it a bit, uh, to sharpen it, to uh, disassemble it, to oil it, uh, you know, clean it up. It was uh, pretty messy, so, and the action wasn't good, and it was dull, very, very dull, so I took it. So my uh, experience with that model is very, very limited. I only carry it for a couple of days, almost didn't cut nothing, only tested after the sharpening test. So, uh, after the sharpening. So, you have to take that under consideration that this review is mostly on my impressions and experience with other knives and what I can um, uh, see with on, um, on that model only by uh, holding it, disassembling it, and I, I don't have a lot of mileage on this one. Uh, it, if you can be gentle. So let's talk about the pro and the cons. So uh, to understand the pros, uh, you, need, you need to be in the context of this knife purpose, which is to be a small gentleman knife, not a, a heavy EDC. So uh, it's small in the pocket and it's very narrow. So it's easy to carry, easy to put in pocket, inside pocket, in suits, in jeans, in all kinds of pockets. Uh, you, and it's very, very light. You almost don't feel it. So, and it's slim, it doesn't have anything annoying over here except this part of the flipper. So uh, it goes in and out the pocket and you can put it close to your body with uh, inside pocket or inside your pants or something like that. No problem at all. Now the blade is very, very long for the weight of, the, of this knife and you get a lot of blade. This is the 3.5 uh, inch version and you have a longer version. The 3.5 is 8.7 centimeters and you have 9.4 centimeters, which is, uh, I think, 3.75 inches. Anyway, you get a lot of blade uh, and the blade geometry is A-OK. -okay. It's very good for a slicing knife. Um, you have a high hollow grind with a uh, very, very conservative blade uh, um, drop point. 
you know, a lot, a lot of straight portion, curved at the end, very, very, you know, it's, if you go to the direct dictionary and look for our knife, you'll probably see that picture in most of dictionaries, you know, of this type of blade. Uh, now this knife also, it looks very, very um, not threatening or um, I would say it's not attract too much attention uh, closed at all. Uh, it looks like you can even put it on the table and people w will think it's something else. I don't know, fancy lighter or something like that. Because And uh, if you open it, look, I put a table knife near it. Okay, this table knife. And... It's pretty similar, you know, so you can put it on the table and people won't notice it. If, if you have uh, an office and you put it there uh, on the table and you have other stuff like, uh, I don't know, from wood or decoration or stuff like that, or not even from wood, it goes, uh, it's blend in, okay? It's, it doesn't look too much threatening. It looks like very, very design uh, something that could be this design can be used in other application you know titanium with wood uh, uh, cover on it i don't know you can put a fancy uh, drawer handles or stuff like that i mean it won't attract you too much if you put uh, like you put this one on the table which is see a big knife okay it's it's okay. even the pm2 attracts more attention okay blends in so it doesn't attract too much attention so it's a big advantage uh, if you don't want to attract attention <laughs> uh, the pocket clip also uh, as you've seen it's a bit outside but uh, they didn't put the screws outside I mean you you don't feel the screws like uh, the bench made here others mention it also uh, and you see it a lot you see so it's also an advantage it's not that big a deal but uh, it's very very nice uh, the action the action is very very smooth but i remind you that i am working on um let's just say um uh, used knife it's not um new so and i open it up and fix the action so i don't know if it is the action right after the, you open the box but uh, it is what it is now and I like it very very much let's see the disadvantage of this knife okay one of its biggest disadvantage it's uh, gentlemen or not gen gentleman knife it's very very small and slim and it's hard to hold and um, I find it too small to my hands and I feel that I can do it very very gentle or easy cuts but uh, if you go to the size of it and the, the fact that it's small, it's also feel a bit, and I use the word fragile. Now I know it's a knife and it's not supposed to be a fragile and you have titanium here and everything, but it feels like a light used knife. I mean, I won't go and carve into wood into that one, okay? If you want a knife to do light slicing, uh, open envelopes, uh, cutting, things very in precision way and gentle not just you know go crazy uh, and um, stuff like that so um, it will do it okay but if you put a lot of stress on that knife well uh, i don't know if it will hold it too much uh, and you have to take it under consideration this is not the folder to rescue people with okay from a burning car so this is the steel of the blade i see it as another disadvantage why it's supposed to be a slicer a light use uh, slicer but a slicer now if you use properly with a slicing knife and you don't apply too much force you can use it to do a lot of uh, tasks uh, even tasks that can be meant for uh, i don't know hard use folders but if you do it slowly and easily you can do it with that and you you can do it with, with that you could do it like uh, slicing something a bit thick or something like that if you had a better blade steel and i will explain the vg10 is a okay blade steel it's very good very nice easy to sharpen stuff like that now if you want to work with that knife for, for a long time uh, i would see a steel that have a better uh, edge retention or wear resistance like uh, cpm uh, 20cv because on those knives, when it is definitely a slicer, 
what it needs is not too much to be too much tough it needs to hold its edge for a long time it's like a, I don't know a surgeon knife as I see it so uh, the VG10 uh, it holds the blade okay it, it, it has a decent wear resistance it's good for some application and if it was a bigger knife I didn't had any problem but uh, because it's a knife that uh, it's meant to do slicing and it can do a precision job I think uh, that if you want to make it more efficient you have a you need a blade with a better wear resistance now uh, and last last thing is uh, here uh, the sharpening choil you don't have a sharpening choil it's not really a sharpening choil because over here it becomes a bit thick and it's uh, pretty annoying. I mean, you can get with a whetstone, but as you see, it goes up here and it's annoying, really, really annoying. So uh, it is what it is. Let's go to the bottom line, okay? So the bottom line, as I think, for a gentleman knife, it is a very, very good knife. You know, uh, if you want uh, something light, the that you won't feel too much for a light task or just carry a small knife, I don't know, to cut something. So it's okay, you won't feel it too much. It's very, very skinny, slimy. Beside that part, it's it's okay. And you get a lot of blade for uh, the weight. But for an EDC, as I say, okay, I'm gonna use it for my uh, all day uses. Uh, I don't know. Uh, me, I wouldn't take it as an EDC. No way, I would take it another knife with me because uh, I don't know it doesn't feel so secure enough to me and it's just me a lot of people can say okay it's secure enough I am I don't go ape sheet on my knife so um, uh, I have no issues me I don't know um, I like to feel the I don't know bigger with a better locking knives I don't know it, it just me as I said it's strictly psychological it's not uh, it's not that uh, these knives can't uh, serve you it can serve you but in light tasks also so if I recommend it I don't know this knife cost right now a hundred dollars uh, the hundred dollars you can add a bit more and if you're talking as a, um, a efficiency no I wouldn't recommend it okay you can get stronger knives with similar slicing capabilities, uh, even less than a hundred dollars. Okay, you can get the red, um, the red one in D two. You can get some, uh, I don't know, Endor. You can get Endor, and you get a very, very good slicing capabilities with a stronger knife. If you're looking for something, you know, in the office or a gift for someone, you know, something that look classy. Uh, so this could be it if you're working in some place that they look at knives and you know they a bit fear so this is look very very you know friendly so it can be a knife um, for you but as an uh, user EDC or something like that as a working knife no look what happened <laughs> no so I hope it helped someone and uh, have a great day